my experience in assessing and simulation, it's not it's not that different to to assessing in like a clinical scenario. I go, but I guess the biggest difference is the patients are actors, and so they're not truly experiencing the things that are the the candidates are being examined on. Um, so I think there's a lot a lot of benefits in that it is a controlled situation. So it is generally a very safe situation and we can expose the candidates to certain conditions and um, experiences that we might, they might not necessarily get the experience to do on the ward. I guess it's a much nicer exam condition because we know there's not going to be interruptions from nursing staff, there's not going to be doctors coming in. Generally, you know that the client's not going to drop their blood pressure or things like that. So sometimes from a safety perspective, it maybe doesn't replicate quite the, the clinical scenario, but I think there's so many benefits of it in that it's, it's a much nicer exam condition for the candidates. They, they're not interrupted, they, you know, they're, it's quiet, they can concentrate, they can focus, they've got access to the gym, you know, there's nobody coming and going. So it is like there's, it is nice from that perspective. I think then you bring it back to what you're actually assessing and we're assessing the candidate and their ability. So we're not, ass we're not assessing their ability to manage an award, we're just assessing their ability to assess a patient in, of, you know, in a certain area. And I think the simulation from that perspective lends itself very, very well. And I think if I was to put myself in the candidate's shoes and I had to have a choice of did I want to do my exams in a simulated environment or a hospital environment? My choice would be to do sim because I don't want to have to worry about my patient dropping their blood pressure. I don't want to have to worry about my patient being unwell on the day. I don't want to have to worry about family members or difficult family members or nursing staff or anybody else having to come right. I don't need to, I don't want to worry about them having to go to the toilet in the middle of my exam. So for me, my, if I was in the candidate's shoes, my preference would be towards sim for the exam situation. So I think if you're an experienced assessor, you know what you're looking for and, and candidates will demonstrate their ability, whether it's in a simulation environment versus um, a hospital environment. Like I've said before, I think it's the perfect environment for assessments. I think we get a lot of feedback from candidates who haven't passed clinical based assessments in hospitals because there's something's happened during their assessment that distracted them, that threw them off course, that was un, un, we just couldn't foresee. I think the patients are well trained. I think they actually portray the clients they're meant to be playing very, very well. I've never done simulation before, so this is my first time, and I think I was a bit wary about how well some of, some of the scenarios would be portrayed. Um, but they actually really get into the role from like their mannerisms, from the, from the personality aspects of how they're meant to portray the clients to what they're wearing. Do you know, like, even the, what they're wearing kind of fits with um, the patient that they're playing. I think the advantages for candidates undertaking simulation assessments would be definitely that they can do all three in one day. So especially for candidates who travel overseas or interstate or who've been waiting a long time to do those exams, I think they can get them all done in one day. I think the, I think the environment itself is perfect for examination purposes. So I think you, know, you, you minimise distractions and they can actually just concentrate on doing the physio assessment with the patient without the risk of interruptions. I think they can experience a variety of different um, patients in different conditions, in different settings, um, which they might not necessarily get in a hospital environment. I think it, it's actually a really nice environment here. Like, yes, it's a simulation lab, but it, it's quite a calm space. So you've got, they, but they've also got access to everything that they would have access to in the hospital. They've got the steps, they've got equipment, they've got bars and it's and it's really local so like they all they have to do is come out the door and they've got it whereas in the hospital it might take 15 minutes to get somebody from their room 
to the gym, which is 15 minutes of their exam where they're stressing about, oh my goodness, I can't find a wheelchair, I can't get them down. So everything is here for them. And so, it, you know, you take away, you don't take away what they're being examined about, but you take away a lot of the stress that can impact on how they do in the exam. So as an assessor, I guess the benefits of simulation would be that you never have to worry about, I guess, your patients saying that they don't want to go through with the exam or becoming unwell during the exam. You don't have to worry about interruptions or, you know, trying to explain to family members that there's an exam going on. Um, I guess going back to the safety thing as well, y yes, you, you, you're always going to be aware of the the, the actors or the patient's um, safety, but you're not, you haven't got that same level of anxiety because you know that they're generally a healthy, well person who are, who are playing a part. Um, and it actually gives you the ability to focus much more on the candidate because you're not necessarily worrying about all the other things that could potentially go wrong. And I think it's very well controlled. You know, it's, you've got your reading time, you've got a nice quiet room to do your reading time in, you have a nice quiet room to do your question time in. In a hospital, sometimes you end up doing your question time in a kind of communal area because you can't find anywhere else to sit. It's nice coming to the APC offices, so it's been really nice from an assessor perspective to come in and actually be examining with like six assessors on the day. And you know, you get to kind of compare your notes with them as well. And you also get to meet different people, which normally in a hospital environment, you, you meet the, the, the examiners that you're examining with for that day. You're there for the exams and then you just go your separate ways. Whereas here, you're here for the whole day. It's actually quite nice socially as well as actually been quite an enjoyable experience actually examining as well. The advice I would give to candidates who are undertaking SIM would be to treat it like you were doing an exam in the hospital. Um, to treat the, the patients like pa patients, um, to go by the signs and symptoms that you're presented with, to go by the, the medical notes and to treat it like any other patient that you've ever seen in a hospital ward. You're not in a hospital ward, everything else is the same. So if they can come into it and try not to think about the patient as an actor um, and know that, yes, we still expect you to take your SATs and to do all your measures. We understand that the actors might not necessarily have low blood pressure, but your examiners are there to make sure that what you test, you get the right answers for. So that's probably the thing, is to trust your examiners when they tell you things, but, but just to go about treating that patient like you would anybody else in the ward.